There you All have right. it. There you go. Yeah, the, you know, total yards, you know, Maryland, that high potent offense, you know, averaging 480 yards to Michigan State's 377. The passing, you know, hovering at that 300 Maryland is in the two, 263. And so rushing the ball, that's going to be huge this game. So, uh, you know, with that said, let's jump into some breakdown of some plays here. <laughs> some breakdown. Damn favorite. Yes, the first one here, we got a simple this is this is a bread and butter power play. What's supposed to happen here? This fullback here, he's gonna go, he's gonna block the end man on the line of scrimmage. That right guard, the guard on top of your screen, he's gonna peel around and he's supposed to take the Mike backer. Mike M for Mike is the middle of the three. So he's he's gonna go and take that Mike backer. Um and uh, those two linemen are going to double down to the to the back to the backside backer there, and it should be an easy hole to go there. You can't pass one to get one. And we see on this here on this play that when we play it, this guard's going to miss his guy. And if you do that, they're going to come in and stick you. These linebackers are will be downhill players, and they will put a hat on the on on the football. Let's so let's play it here. Fullback takes the end man. That you see. That mm, the pulling missed guard it. misses the Mike backer, and can't who makes the play? You know, so he he has to get his guy. You you can't pass one to get one. So off you have to be on your keys. You know, fullback does a great job. Same arm, same shoulder, inside kicking him out. That that this lineman needs to he needs to identify where his guy is. He's his guy's gonna move. You can't go to where he started. You know that straight in pulling. You can't go to where he's gonna be. You can't. That's be, right. He started over here, so this is where he's going to be. No, this guy's going to move when the ball snaps. So you have to be able to understand and identify where he's going to be. So if this if this guard would have made this play, this running back could have squeaked through for a, for a nice gain on this Nice play. game. So let's see it. Let's see it go through here. Yes, boom. Yep. Yeah, I can't stand to see that with guards. Uh, Miss Blocks in. Here's a, a better view of it on the field level. Corey, we're going to get you some, you know, some good film. You're going to be studying this stuff up now, man. You're going to be ready now. Look, I, I, we don't want to bore you anymore with this stuff. I, I think you did a phenomenal job giving us some insight into the transfer portal and recruiting and all those things, Michigan State football. You know, we really appreciate your time here with us, man. As always, you're welcome anytime. Thank you for being on the show, and I'd uh, love to have you again real soon. Appreciate it, Corey. You're muted, brother. Uh, yeah, sorry about that. Yeah, anytime I'm, you guys need me, I'm here. And then uh, let let me know where the uh, tailgate is. I'll swing by this weekend. Oh, uh, yeah. We got one for you. Okay. <laughs> See you Saturday. See ya. Corey Robinson, everybody. Let's continue the breakdown. Yeah, so let, let's go down to when Maryland, they're going to, they, when they blitz the football, when they blitz now, and uh, this is just a simple six man protection. Stray, you, I'm talking your language right now. You know, the five <laughs> down linemen, they, they're responsible for the four down and the mic backer. That's the it. running back has everybody else in this because it's a six man protection. He's the only one in the backfield there. So, the, the line, they have the four guys that are down in a three-point stance and the middle of the three, that Mike Backer, that's right there. So the running back, now you start to scan. You start to scan from the strength, which is going to be the bottom of the, of the screen there because that's where the tight end is. The tight end always sets the strength in the offense. So you start from there and work your way at the next backer, and then what you do is you, you assess the top. So you look at the secondary, then you then you go back to what we talked about last week. Let's pick up in that corner cat, that Corvette, that cowboy blitz. <laughs> so now you have this. So if you let's play it a little bit. So we you got have single high right here, here, baby. It's pressure. It's single okay, high. Okay, let's go back to the top. Let's go back to the top a little bit. So we saw that guy walk back, walk down. There's still eight seconds on the play clock right now. What this quarterback should do is hey. This he's coming, he's coming. Move the running back to the other side so the running back does not have to do what they call a cross key block yeah. going across the front of the quarterback, risking you know running into him. So Bad that position. is what you do. So, but the running back does a great job of doing that cross key block there and, and picking up the back. 
So that's the thing with Maryland's defensive line. They're not going to have penetration. They're going to go up, stand you up, and try to hold the line of scrimmage. That's what they're going to do. They're not going to get back there. So if we can protect our quarterback this week, we should be able to get away with plays like this. Simple pitch and catch. Simple pitch mm -hmm. and catch. The line has the four down and the mic. The backer, the running back has whoever else is left. All right. So let's go to the next one. You can't get fooled. You cannot get fooled. So this play right here. Now they go to a three down mm -hmm. front. All right. So it's a three down front. They're still playing. They're playing a 34 defense now. They have the safety walk down. Actually, a, a three five. Actually, they have the, the linebacker out there in space in the slot. They're taking over the, and they're playing a zone in the back end there. And traditionally, you think because that this uh, guy on the top of the key there in the red jersey in the top there, that linebacker, he's in what they call a motorcycle stance. And when you see a guy in what they call a motorcycle stance, your thought process is he's going to be blitzing. So your antennas and tentacles go up. You think that he's going to be blitzing. But what they do here, they do a great job of disguising that, you know, have him mug up like he's going to blitz and then drop back in the zone. So what this 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 quarterback predetermined it. He thought this guy was blitzing. That lineman was going to cut him, put his hands down, and he's going to have that easy uh, pitch and catch to that quick out running running on the outside that you can't predetermine your throws. You have to see things through. So that, that backer comes, acts mm -hmm. like he's blitzing on the snap of it, drops to the drops back and makes that pick, cuts it off and makes that pick. You look like 40 inch arms, man. <laughs> go, go gadget. Yes. So but that's, <laughs> that's what it is. But this Maryland's defense, they're successful, susceptible to, different types of things our receivers have to win because one like i mentioned in the beginning the, the defensive line does not penetrate they're going to come up mm -hmm. and hold up and try to see where it is and try to shed you off so if our offensive line can protect we can have place like this happen if our receivers win so let's go to the next one there Receivers, they're playing man across the up, up top there. Receivers, they have to win. Like I said, the defensive line is, is not going to penetrate. We need to have time back there, and our receivers win. I think we have receivers that can win, and we will be successful when something like this will happen. Oh, it's getting over the top, baby. Easy. Ooh. Easy money. Easy money. That is what can happen if we protect. You see the off the defensive linemen. They're not rushing downfield. They're just holding up on the snap. They come up and hold up. So I think this game, I'm very optimistic about this game. I think, you know, we have a shot. Our offense is going to get back rolling. I think we, we, we will be able to run the football on these guys. The biggest thing is we have to wrap up that quarterback. We have to go there and wrap him up. We can't let him pull a Houdini, you know, those plays that they get back there. The crowd goes excited, think it's a sack, and all of a sudden he, he pops up on the hash the opposite side and slinging the rock down the field there. So we have to be able to do those things. Our DBs, our secondary, have to be disciplined and stay on their guys because it's gonna be, he's going to do a lot of movement. He's going to do a lot of scrambling in the pocket there. Hey, this is great breakdown stuff. I've been telling you, this is the master's class of film breakdown. If you tune in on Thursday nights here with This Is Part of MSU, J.U., I mean, this is great <laughs> stuff. You know, I, I, look, Mike Linebacker, motorcycle stances. I mean, you, you're, getting them, you're getting them coached up, baby. All right. Write it down. and Go back and watch it again if you didn't hear that properly the first time. It's okay. And that's what film study is. Click, 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 click. Keep re rewind. Trevor, to answer your question on that, when they jump the route like that, can MSU counter with an out and up? Um, you can't. But he the, the the reason that happened is the quarterback predetermined to throw. He thought that guy was going to blitz. That corner was still back there in the zone. He had he has his his third of the field there. So he you know the the quarterback assumed that that guy was going to blitz and the lineman was going to cut him. And so he was going to be able to take that quick three three step and throw that pill to the speed out there. If that would have happened, that was the right read for the quarterback. But the guy he he fooled him. He he mugged up on there and then dropped back there. So you won't you won't you could do the out and up, but you have to not predetermine it. Yeah, Noah Kim actually did that 
executed this same play beautifully against Washington in the first quarter, but the blitz actually came. Mm-hmm. And he threw in the pressure. That's a hot read. That's what they call that. You throw right into pressure where there's a void in coverage when someone is coming towards you. Throw right at them over the head. There's usually a, a, a receiver wide open, but you can't predetermine. Never predetermine. Like, we don't right. like quarterbacks that break the huddle knowing where they're throwing the ball. No, the Just only can. time you can you can do that, you can do when you have what they call mirror concepts. Both sides are running the same routes, and so you just pick a side that you're going to go to based off what leverage that defense is giving you. 